Well, even the biggest fans of electric vehicles aren't always charged about taking up a long road trip. The concern, will they have enough energy to stay in motion? Morning Insider Vince Gerasoli looks at whether there are enough charging stations to keep them moving. I've taken this car on the Michigan International Speedway. We hit the road with Adam Fendelman, kind of gadget head, addicted to his electric vehicle, or EV. So there's no turning on the car, there's no turning off. It's a Tesla Model 3. The battery is the entire floorboard of the car. So it's hidden, you never see it, it's protected. The web designer travels barely five miles to work, charging his battery for several hours every week and a half. I was driving a 1992 Oldsmobile Cutlass <laughs> for nine years. Recently, he did something many EV drivers are reluctant to try. He logged over 1,000 long distance miles road tripping from Chicago to Nashville to St. Louis and back. Along the way, he relied on supercharger stations capable of providing an 80% battery charge in about 40 minutes. This is concept called range anxiety where it's like your car is going to run out of, you know, energy and then I'm going to be stuck. So it knows right now that we're going to a supercharger, but it's the same thing as gas. Like you don't want to run out of gas and if you're running out of gas, go to a gas station. The difference with this is go to a charging station. There are roughly 68,800 charging units, which look like a traditional gas pump in the United States. However, only about 16% of them, or 10,860, are fast charging, the kind that make long distance travel easier. If we want to have many more electric vehicles, we need to have many more charging stations. It's why even though EV sales in the United States reached a record 361,000 units, they still represent only about 2% of all vehicles on the road. It's a chicken and egg issue. Professor Mohammed Shahidapur is director of the Galvin Center for Electricity Innovation at IIT. He says both the government and automakers need to invest in the fast charging infrastructure to fuel more EV sales. I have a strong feeling that the charging stations would have to come first in order to convince the public. Plot out a course for me. The software in Fendelman's Tesla routes him to supercharger stations along the way from one long distance destination to the next. It knows how long I should charge at each station. In Chicago, Tesla currently operates 12 supercharger stations with seven more coming online in the coming months. It's a lifestyle miles away from Fendelman's merry old Oldsmobile. It had no airbags, it had terrible gas efficiency. But now he's charged up. On the northwest side, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.